Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Phoenix Blade, and welcome to Journey to the Savage Planet. <laughs> I know, I said I was back like a month ago, and then nothing. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties, plus, uh, between trying to figure out what game would be good to kind of come back with, um, was a little tricky, but I've been told this is a really good one, and so let's get into it. Uh, I saw the trailer, and it looked really freaking funny. Okay, we'll do... Wait, what's old game minus? Kick it old school with limited lives and track time. Probably not, because I'll probably die a lot. All right, play. <laughs> um, but I saw the trailer of this, and it looked pretty funny. And I just hope I don't have any technical difficulties. Oh, I've already messed up. I forgot to start my timer, dang it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're starting at Earth. And we're going to some place, but there's an error. That's not <laughs> what's with the giant bobblehead. A fatal error. Uh oh. Okay. That's what the. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, president and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. I like the Christmas lights for no reason. Kindred has been striving. To help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar expert. <laughs> the fourth? Company. Great. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans. And now, to the stars! To the stars! <laughs> this seems like a bad mattress commercial. Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... <laughs> this one, fill in the blank. <laughs> Your job is to explore the planet's surface. Catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities. Oh my god. data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience <laughs> and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. If you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the Unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. What the frick? The aquarium at his feet. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Stay alive. <laughs> I could pick that video apart on how... <laughs> How freaking great it is. Space uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose pain, bloody stools, feeling emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous. Gender confusion? Notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Exceeds six months. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind. So uh, you make sure you're not crazy. Uh, well, already. Wait, Meat Buddy Deluxe? That sounds disgusting. Caution! Wait, is this telling me it can clone things? Death, paralysis, pneumonia, depression? What? <laughs> this. What? Uh, meet your new best friend. Oh, wait, I saw that in the trailer. Or turn on the lights or feed you. Oh, hey, look. Serve succulent meal? What is that? Your favorite quasi food? What? What? Where is it? Oh, Rob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. Eh, 
Gross. Okay, where's the computer? There's no hub or anything. <laughs> okay, you do know what a computer looks like, right? It's new old stuff, but look for the screen with the envelope icon on it. And log in so I can open the door. Oh, It'll be quick, that. I swear. Okay. <laughs> Uh, ugh, that is not just blurry for you. It is also blurry for me. Kindred Technologies. New report. Okay. Greetings. It looks like you made it. Good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program Benefits contract, you are contractually obliged to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state. Uh, 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 and because space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. <laughs> Explorer number J75X321. This is the end of your report. Please press the submit button. Are you are you joking me? That was it. <laughs> Wait, messages. I already did that one, right? No? Welcome to your first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, skit hard, oh, the blurriness is really hurting my eyes, scan over every, uh, blade grass, dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed. That crazy guy you just watched on the video. I got video, I think. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, it's president the... and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. I'm glad they picked him. He's a really lovable actor so far. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider oh, Wait, did we just see this? Yeah, I think we just saw this one. Okay. Uh, stats? A hot garbage add-on completion. Wait, I have hot garbage? I don't remember getting that, but okay, cool. Alien research. Maybe it just came with it when I bought it. Uh, collectibles. Collect all the cards. Be a winner. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, there's a lot of things. Oh, gosh. Everything's so retro. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. That doesn't sound great. That sounds like death like that one game that's all about that whole what was that game there was a whole game about that entire concept of you being like teleported but not really you're just a clone and the real you kept dying over and over again something like that <laughs> i watched mark play it one time okay i have grob so that's cool um, sorry if it seems like I don't know what the heck I'm doing, um, between, obviously, me not actually know what I'm doing, and the controls. I'm a little... It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. What the frick is that? that nation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Okay, there's a run. In your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Oh, I can't get through it. Hatch. Hey, what? Exterior hatch? Hey, look. I got more grab. Grab inventory full. Okay, grab is delicious. It, okay, something. I saw I saw in the trailer what grab is. That's disgusting. Um. Do what now? Press to show tracked mission objective. Oh, hey, that's handy. Okay, good. Because there's a lot to look at in this game, so I tend to get lost. <laughs> okay, interact. Boop. Uh oh, that's never good. <laughs> Frickin' work! <laughs> what the frick is that? What the heck? There's a lot of them. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. Okay, great. I don't the know what those are. The pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Oh, now. pretty bad. Um, press uh, the trim uh, toggle scanning scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect 
This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight Oof. location again. At least fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's just a lot kind of, it feels like a lot's being thrown at me right now. Um... I scanned the javelin for damage. Problem scanned two of three. Missing panel scanned zero of one. Okay. Uh, what was... Uh, what was... Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. That's not supposed to look like that. Oh, yeah. No, that's not good. No bueno. Uh, anything else to scan? No. No, we're getting out of here. Okay. It says go this way. Uh, missing panel. I did, didn't I? Didn't I scan? That's the missing... Oh, no, that's the landing gear. I guess the missing panel is that way. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's gonna teach me how to crouch? I already knew! Haha! -ha. Hello! How'd that get in here? Uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. Oh. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Oh, I'm trying not to burp all over the mic. I just had hot dogs. If we have a watery launch. Oh, the photographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Oh, what the frick is that? Okay, fix your upper. Use your scanner to document the planet's ecosystem. I have been sent this. Okay, awesome. These look weird. Okay, this. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. <laughs> How do I do that? Looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. They're cute, but they don't look friendly because they have tusks. Time to run! <laughs> don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! What is this? What's this? What's this thing? How do I how do I hit it? Wait, press X to slap or kick. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. Well, how do I oh there we go. <laughs> slap him. Slap slap. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma crystal. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. The frick are these? What? There's too much going on in this game. It's nuts. What is happening? I'm picking up silicone and carbon. That is not how things work. <laughs> that is not. Okay, hold on. Um, if I scan this. There we go. But good drugs. For healing. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> uh, pop them for a quick shot of health. Oh, that's what they are. Okay. Oh, crap. There's another one. Take that, you little blob of frickin' juice. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. Ew. Um, and what does this grab in a can do? Does that heal me or something? Wait, whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. That was weird. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? This. How do I skin this? These aren't reeds. Okay. Big difference. Not tint of weeds, tint of reeds. Tint of weeds. Okay. Pick up all this juicy stuff. Alright. Cool beans. Uh, we need to get back, I think. Uh, and running uses my stamina. Good to know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Running, running, running. Oh my god, am I an actual dog? I picked the dog picture. Does that mean I'm actually a dog now? Dude. <laughs> Wait, listen. Shh. Okay, there's like a human sound kind of at the end, but there is definitely a dog sound. <laughs> 
All right. When you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. How convenient. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. My hands are meaty. Superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier. With Ew. Plus, nutri minerals, power booster, and 20 million. Rock, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach. For that doesn't seem like it would digest well. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, pork, chocolate mousse, our candy, chili bacon burger, sunny man, and shine, sweet seed, parmesan cheese, vanilla swirl, Bob John donut, Salisbury steak, pasta paisano, buffalo banana wings, horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lamb's bleed, poutine, wonton, fecal surprise, cucumber shit, fecal surprise, and literally trillions Nose broth. Now that's good flavor. Oh, I can't watch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Oh no. You know what though? There are people who would kill too. Explore. Sleep. Okay, great. Um, there are people who would kill to be able to invent something like that. Cause then they would, like, uh, you remember the episode of SpongeBob where like it's a bunch of gr uh, gray goop and then they spray paint it and it's a nice looking crusty crab burger. They would basically do that. Okay. Looks like I got a new video. Oh, and there it is. And I'm not watching it. Okay, great. Um, what do I do? Uh, hold on. Uh, scanner. You have no second. Okay, craft the Nomad pistol at the 3D printer. Yeah, where is that? Is it this thingy? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. Um, so I need this thingy which I needed stuff for Woo! Nomad pistol It's true enough True enough Alright, so I'm gonna need a lot more silicone and a lot more um, carbon uh, for me to get a supercharged shot uh, which is an extra damage shot and then this thing I can't okay I can't afford anything else it looks like items a basic utility belt press to cycle items that sounds cool can I get that do I have that I already have that right okay I don't know gear standard spacesuit okay I already have these things can't unlock anything else yet okay cool how do I I'm sure it'll show me it's time to get out of here right probably Oh yeah, there we go. Sweet. How do I shoot this thing? Up. Oh, there you go. How do I reload? Cause that is not it. Up. Oh, there we go. Take that, you cute little blobs of cuteness! I kind of like the way it recharges. That's cool. Yum 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 yum. Okay, I got lots of carbon from that. Cool. Uh, let's reload. Do I have unlimited ammo? That's dope. Oh, that's satisfying. Can I? I can't smack it. Alright, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Just this part right here? I can't. Wait, how do I. Wait. Shh. Why do I sound like a pig? Or is that a dog? Is that what dogs sound like when they jump? <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to be distracted by that the entire game. Oh, man. I need more. More ammos. Or a bigger clip size, I mean. Cool. All right. Ooh, journey to the savage planet. There's a giant... Oh, this looks like one of those it RPG towers. Weird, do you see a large tower looming above you? Yeah. I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Okay. What is this? Whoa. Okay. 
Great. What about that? Why shoot that? Woo! All right. Oh, all right. I should probably scan things. Uh, like what is that? Now that's metal. <laughs> a bag spun from a wiry metallic thread filled with carefully preserved seeds. Badass. Okay. Uh, I, I have forgetting. received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Um, but I literally just got out here. What is that? What is this? What is that? This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. Okay, this is not a, a game for kids. I'm taking it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's try eating some, uh... Drop, drop the hallucinogens. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, oh, that was weird. <laughs> it would have been nice if I would have added some kind of, like, music. What is? Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. I can't tell quite what's happening. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I am rusty at this too, you know? Wait, what is that? Give me that, what is that? It's a little ball. Oh, it's an eyeball. <laughs> um, I'm a little rusty at doing YouTube videos, so my commentary skills are not quite up to par with what they used to be, I feel like. Give me some of those. And that's what is this? Like a natural trampoline. Every thing, yes. Effective? You bet. Okay. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. Watch this, watch this, ready? Woo! <laughs> that would be pretty fun. Uh, although that is pretty messed up. Okay, so I said get back to the ship. Is what it said to do, right? Isn't that what it said to do? Yeah, it's like video. You need to do that. But there's, there's also... There's a thing over there I gotta do. So, I don't know. Let's get back to the... A video's easier than whatever the else heck I'd have to do. Take some of that! And some of that! And some of that. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration effort. Please scan it. Okay, I could do that. Hint. Uh, yeah. Yep. I already figured that out. Alright, cool. Those things are dangerous. Whoa! I didn't catch that the first couple of times. Ooh, that's pretty. What is this? What is this? What is it? Hmm, orange goo. I believe that Superfood. Mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Yeah, well, you know I'm gonna eat it. Come on. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. Uh, the dog did not like it. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. Oh, that's right. They explode. I forgot about that. Oh, no! Poor doggy! <laughs> Which is me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am almost dead. Give me those peanuts. They look like popping, or uh, packing peanuts. Popping peanuts. That sounds tasty, if not dangerous. All right, let's get back to the ship and um, watch that video. Like I said, I was gonna. Uh, did we ever figure out what the orange goo did? I already forget. I'll, I'll probably notice when I'm rewatching all of this, um, when I'm editing it. It's just, there's so much stuff in my mind's going places, so it's hard to focus. This, this is the type of game it's hard to focus on. Like, I'm worried about... Oh, oh, nope, this gonna hurt. Hmm, that's sad. <laughs> um, it's just hard to focus on a lot of stuff, you know? I'm just one of those type of people that... I just, I can't focus on too many things. I guess, yeah. Or, or you know, just starts being detrimental. Alright, use teleporter. Cool, cool. All right, got a decent amount of carbon. Need way more silicone. Oh, where's the computer? I always forget. Okay. 
a message, remember the kindred value system. Hold on one sec. Okay. <clears throat> Hello again, Explorer Nightmare. <laughs> Congratulations on the tremendous progress you've made on Planet Name. While I'm sure by now the isolating loneliness of space exploration has started to set in, rest assured that your personal sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. Martin Tweed Kindred's fearless and intrepid CEO was distinctly heard remarking that he was interested in the one paragraph summary he skimmed documented our 74 active pioneers. Hard work. <laughs> okay, great. As you continue to pursue your goal of exploring and documenting your exciting new planet, be sure to maintain a keen awareness of the kindred value system. Leave no stone unturned. If a stone refuses to turn, smash it to pieces. <laughs> Explore every nook and cranny. Should a cranny or a nook seem too dangerous, get in there and check it out anyways. That's why we pay you. Take pride in your work and defend kindred property at all costs. Advanced space tech is expensive and hard to manufacture. Printing new limbs and extremities can be done at a fraction of the cost. Have fun. Awesome. Great. Um, new video. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey. Hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY-26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Okay, he doesn't seem fully um, above board, does he? Oh wait, what's this? Scraps, <laughs> fat, and gristle finding its way to your trash. What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet. Oh, gross! Put a smile on your face using your meat. Ah! Uh, buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. That is disgusting. Waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-grown proteins, and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to come. Uh. Meat Buddy, the snuggly playmate from Slimo. That's ethically and. Just gross. That's ethically wrong and gross. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, God. That made me want to vomit a little bit inside. Okay. So, let's get back out there. Um, That's kind of cool, though. That tower looks huge, so climbing that should be fun. Ambient temperature 92 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Nominal. Great. I need to increase my stamina. My stamina needs increased. For sure. Ah, oh, man. That is... Pretty though, isn't it? <laughs> Even though most of it's covered up by clouds and whatnot. All right, Q beans. Well, I think we're gonna end it here. Um, good start to you know the first video. And uh, sorry about the wait. Uh, the rest of the videos. So what I'm gonna aim for is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays being when I release videos. Obviously, that comes down to um, me having enough free time and also. Um, I've had some stuff come up in my life that's pretty uh, personal and so you know things aren't always easy but when I have free time and I'm feeling energetic enough to do this uh, definitely aiming to have it come out looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment if you have a grapple I this don't. is where you fire it I'm I don't have one for you now. Oh, sweet cool um but I'm definitely working on Monday Wednesday Wednesday <laughs> Wednesdays and Fridays 
to have the videos come out. And uh, let me know if you want to keep watching more of this or if you have any other games you want to see me play. Um, I was actually thinking of doing Baldur's Gate. Uh, I have a specific friend of mine who apparently watches these videos. And let's just say this particular game just released the Druid class. And it sounds like you can do some really cool stuff when you turn into animals. Um, which I think would get them interested in playing that game. So I think they'd enjoy it at least. So, let me know. And I hope this video actually came out alright. And I don't just freaking <laughs> go to edit this and nothing, like no audio got picked up. That would suck. Alright, uh, and as always, have a good one and see you next time.